or are you tired of bidding and not winning anything substantial? Whether you are bidding in an online auction or in person, there are several tricks of the trade that you must master for a successful bidding experience. Nothing beats experience. Before you start bidding like a pro, it is essential that you attend a few auctions and observe carefully to get accustomed to how things are done. Check and compare quoted prices at different auctions with the actual prices of the goods, particularly for rare items. The more you familiarize yourself with the bidding process and regulations, the greater your confidence tends to be when you go to the real thing. You know what they say, practice makes perfect. Prepare in advance always inspect you bidding auctions in advance to know what kind of products are up for sale, whether any of them interest you, and how you plan to go about bidding others. Pre-inspection times vary from a few hours to an entire day before the actual auction, so make efficient use of this time and thoroughly inspect the articles from top to bottom. Furthermore, make sure to speak to the auctioneer about any clarifications you need such as title, condition of sale or auction process regarding goods that interest you. Also, as a rule of thumb, always try to be the first one at an auction. This enables you to get a front row seat, or in other words, the auctioneer's attention. Know your bidders learn to differentiate between real and dummy bidders. Dummy bidders are people planted by auctioneers and are used to push the auction prices up. Do not let your emotions overwhelm you into bidding at outrageous prices, as this is exactly what the auctioneer wants. Maintain your composure, keep calm, and think thoroughly about any and every item you bid for. Persistence is key. Make sure that you bid firmly and confidently so your opponents feel you are serious about it, making the impression that losing is not an option for you. Also engage in what is termed throw bidding, whereby you bid a random amount to disrupt the flow of an otherwise smooth bidding process. For example, if everyone is bidding in hundreds, you can bid an odd amount, such as 49. This tends to throw off the other bidders and leave them in a state of confusion. Furthermore, do not give up too easily. There are times when if an auctioneer feels he is not getting a worthy price for one of his articles, the product is withdrawn from the auction. This paves way for private negotiations with the highest bidders, an opportunity you must avail if the item interests you. Bid on a budget you must determine a limit to your bids, that is, decide on the maximum amount you are willing to spend. This tends to be the strongest tool for auction success. Use your knowledge about the product to determine whether it is actually worth the price or it has been inflated. Try to slow down the bidding by bidding in smaller amounts and eventually increasing to higher amounts when the time calls for it. But never, under any circumstance, exceed your limit.